I think we have an obligation to bring financial literacy to Sarah Ramaphosa's supporters. I'll start with this current one, um, the repo rates. The repo rates will once again meet um, the decisions that make, the body that makes decisions on the repo rates will meet again this week on Thursday. And I guarantee you the repo rates will be increased. Some of you dum-dums who love Ramaphosa think it's a good thing. It's not. That basically means that debt that you pay, you're going to be paying more interest on it. So your debt is getting higher. Or, an, or the re, if, if, if you have a fixed rate, then you're good. But if it's something like a car or home that's not fixed, you are essentially paying more interest. You are not paying off the assets any faster. You're paying off the interest. So when they keep increasing the repo rate, it's not a good thing, you damn dams. Okay? They've increased the repo rates how many times this year? Every time they meet, they increase it. It's not a good thing. Another thing called money laundering. Money laundering is a way to hide money. There is a very uh, easy way like hiding money in their mattress so that SARS doesn't know that you have the money and you can't get taxed on it. It's tax season in South Africa now. Those of us who did not hide our money in the mattresses or in the Georgia tanks, who just took it and did the honest things, we are getting taxed right now. Right? But the people who hide their money in the mattresses, who have foreign currency more than that which the law allows, they are safe. Money laundering is basically moving money from A to B, from B to C, from C to D, so that A, B, C, D does not get taxed. By the time it gets to D, you'll find that it's no longer a taxable entity, a taxable company, or it goes to a so-called non-profit or a political party that can't be taxed. So whenever these companies make money, they move it and move it around and move it around. And then when it gets to funding Ramaphosa, it then is not taxable and it, they cannot even be associated with it because they are so far removed. It will take an investigation like the one the public protector did. So you damn dumbs who support Ramaphosa need to be educated about financial literacy. You can't hide money. If you look at the documents that one of the things that required for Ramaphosa to be president was that he had to cease and desist economical activities. It's part of the rules on being a president. He did rise and say that he will be looking up to close his commercial activities. How then, years after, he still has this Palapala Farm Gates, which is not a charity, but an entity that earns income, income that is hidden in the mattress. The repo rate needs to stop increasing. Whether you're IFP, NC, DA, EFF, the COPE is not coping well in the political side. Everybody else, we need to call for a moratorium on interest rates, on repo rate increases, because in repo rate increases increase the interest rates, and this increases the cost of living. It's just like fuel, but fuel for financial uh, industry. So everything that's linked to a loan, it increases. And it doesn't even mean that the interest income will increase in that rate. It's the borrowing rate, not the interest that you get back.